So talking about the structure of a convert uh, or care team or a new Muslim care team or new Muslim success team, it's not a support. So I don't want to even call it new Muslim support team. We call it new Muslim success team. So you would have, uh, you can have four types of people in there, right? Because there are many people who want to help. So I'm giving you an idea of what are different ways that people can actually help you. So one, uh, one type of people or one category of people are people that are convert coaches. They are proactive. They have the customer success or new Muslim success mentality. They don't have a support mentality. Okay. And this training is mostly about them. The second type of teachers, uh, the second type of people or volunteers could be your passive teachers. Okay. So for example, in our masjid, in our team, you know, we have people, for example, who we know that, you know, if, if the convert wants to learn how to make wudu or he or she wants to learn how to read alphabet, obviously not every convert will do that how to read Quran and so on and so forth, then what we can do is we can connect them to these teachers. You know, they, these teachers have wisdom. They will not, for example, comment on the convert's dress or beard or like earrings or tattoos and things like that, right? They understand that, you know, person is starting. They may not have everything right at the moment. Let me focus on my part. So I'm just teaching Volu, I'm motivating them, welcoming them. But these are passive teachers, meaning, you know, they may have a time that they teach on if the convert is not showing up to the class, they may not follow up. They will not be calling them, okay? They might let you know, or you might have to check with them and they will let you know. So you, so in this scenario, you have to think, let's say if you, if you, if you are an elder brother or elder sister and you have a younger brother or a younger sister or, or a child, you know, you are the, as a father are the one who is taking the son or the daughter or the brother or the sister to different classes, you know, whether it be sports or masjid and what have you. And if the person is not finding it interesting or not motivated, then you are doing the motivation. You are doing the follow-up. You may be even finding them another teacher, another mentor, right? But you are the proactive one. You know, these teachers may not be uh, proactive. Obviously, a coach themselves, himself or herself can also be a teacher, but they don't have to be, right? So this way, more people can help. And then you may have some general helpers. So you may have a group of people who are like, hey, you know what? I'm available to help. I'm not committing regular time, but I'm here to help you if you need anything. So what you can then do is you can create an Ansar group or a helpers group. And then there you can put in request. You know what? I need a convert to be picked up this Friday for the conference or for the halakha or for the Friday prayer. Here's a convert who is sick. You know, is anyone available to go and visit him or her, right? So you can put in a request there. And then, you know, some sometime, you know, Brother Junaid may be available. Sometimes sister, you know, uh, Rida may be available. Sometimes sister, you know, Cheryl may be available, so on and so forth. So different people may be available to do different things. They're not regularly committed, but it's a general group. You put in a request, you find someone to help with a specific thing. The fourth type of people, the fourth type of role, again, one person can wear multiple hats. There's no, nothing wrong with that. The fourth role could be social people, right? People who are making sure that other people in the community are aware of your services so they can pass on the converts to you who are going out and recruiting people or, you know, uh, arranging trainings and so on and so forth. And then someone can go and train them and whatnot. Uh, they're also the people that are keeping up with what are what's happening in the community, other social events, right? One thing that we used to do uh, pre-COVID is uh, people would know us. So if there's a walima happening or a kika happening, sometimes they say, you know what, if you want to invite three or four converts, go ahead, right? So things like that, you know, they would be aware of the masjid events and, you know, they'll arrange the free tickets and whatnot. So they could help with those type of things. So this is another uh, role. So when I'm recruiting, for example, uh, you know, obviously you want to make sure that people are committed, right? There are many people who sign up for 20 things and they're like, you know, they're just giving 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, something flashy comes up, they move on, right? So you want people to be committed. You know, this thing, as you understand, requires patience. You know, even if you commit half an hour a week or one hour a week for one person, that's great, right? But you need consistency. Uh, so that's, that's the, you know, understanding that we build. And then what we do is basically uh, we ask them that, look, and as we mentioned in module number one, you have to protect yourself as well. So you should also be doing some sort of Islamic studies, okay? You should be going to halaqa or studying online, what have you, reviewing your knowledge. So you're taking care of yourself. And then everyone do, does like a weekly update on WhatsApp, uh, and what, what their efforts are and so on and so forth. And uh, if we have like a training manual that I've like linked here, it's, it's a work in progress. I know there's a lot of information. I'm trying to make it pretty. So 
I don't know when you're watching the recording, maybe it has already become prettier and more organized, but you know, if someone wants to help with that and is good with that, do reach out. Uh, I do want to make it into a nice manual, uh, much better than its current state, which I'll show you in a second, inshallah. So yeah, that's, that's how we do it. We give them the training. Then we also do an evaluation to make sure they have understood the training. Uh, do a quick phone call to, you know, a quick interview, and then we onboard a mentor. So that, that could be one way of doing it. Uh, for those interested in da data and systems, uh, one system that I've used in the past is HubSpot, where I can track, you know, the number of mentors coming in, you know, what they've learned and so on and so forth, the new Muslims and whatnot. If you, if you want that, then I have linked uh, those type of things for you as well. So if you're creating your own team, wherever you are, you can utilize that if it's something that you find beneficial. If not, you can use the traditional Excel, uh, Excel Google Sheet or Excel Sheet and whatnot. So these links are there for anyone who is interested in that. Yeah, so that was basically our module three. Uh, you know, I'll stop here, give you a chance to think about the content, ask any questions you have, and then we'll dive right into module four. So you can uh, type or raise your hand and I can, you know, let you unmute yourself and then we can go from there. <laughs> 